This quick start tutorial is for those who have been searching for a more modern software tool like Gramps that might be better suited for a particular style of genealogical research. In the following scenario, an inherited family tree and its records need to be updated going forward. This collection of family history had been created and maintained using the now deprecated tool Personal Ancestral File or PATH. It was a genealogy management software product that was provided free of charge by FamilySearch. PATH was retired in 2013 and has no longer been available for download or support. Like other genealogy management software, PATH allowed users to enter names, dates, places, source citations, and other information into a database, and to print family group records, pedigree, and descendancy charts, as well as other reports. PATH also let users extract selected information from their family tree, creating files in the GEDCOM format to share with other researchers. While this capability can be exploited for moving a family history database to a different genealogy software and reconstituting it there, it's not a flawless method. Nevertheless, it's a widely adopted method and tool for doing so. Let's go through the complete steps for moving a family tree from PATH to Gramps. First, start PATH and open your database. Next, bring up the export dialog box. Choose the generated GEDCOM file format, types of information to be included, and all individuals for data migration purposes. Click on button Export at the lower left corner to bring up the dialog box Export GEDCOM file as. Enter the file name, example.ged, and click on button Export on the right to start the data extraction. When it completes, note the export tally and click button OK to conclude this step. We now have a GEDCOM file that can be imported into Gramps. It's good to note the location of this newly created GEDCOM file for the next steps. In this scenario, it is in the nested file folders, OneDrive, Gramps, GEDCOM. Let's continue. When you start Gramps after its installation, a dialog box appears for creating a family history database. Click on button New, and then enter the family tree name. Or you may simply click on the entry to accept what's there. Later, use the button Rename to change the family tree name. For now, let's click the button Load Family Tree to initialize the Gramps database. At this point, it is empty and ready to be populated with the GEDCOM file contents. Click the top left menu Family Trees and select Import Entry. Use the Gramps File Chooser dialog box to navigate to where the newly created GEDCOM file is kept. Click on the file name, example.ged, to start the database import. All imported data are automatically saved in the newly created family history database. Close the tally informational boxes to complete this process. You may now start using Gramps to inspect the family history that was previously curated using PATH.